Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Today on my Pinterest project of the week, I'm going to show you a couple of easy ways to make some fabric floral accessories for your purse, your dress, belt, or even a hat. I could use that for all of my. I'm going to say purse. maybe we could make a really small. You could one make a boutonniere. Your, yeah, for your pocket. I was going to say I could use for my purse or my hat well, or my you dress. Like flowers, look, they're I on do. your jacket. I told you when I was in LA, everything, every is floral. Floral. That's what's in right now. That's what's in. Now, this is a super easy way to say this. I'm going to uh, give this one a little caveat. I like these. These are these are fun and easy, but I kind of prefer the in-depth ones with the silk where you have to burn the edges and mm. all that sort of thing. We don't have time for that today, but for this project, you will need scissors, felt, hot glue gun, fabric, needle and thread, safety pins, and a writing pin. Jeremy, I'm going to show you first how to make these. Now, this is one of my hats here. Take a look at this. This is uh, the little flower that I'm going to show you how to make. Um, it's super easy to make. And this, I mean, I had two of them on there, but I want to show you the back of this one. So this is the first project we're going to do. You're going to get a piece of fabric, and you're going to start right in the center, cutting it, and you're going to cut it in a round-like motion. Now, when you can kind of do a little zigzag thing, too, because that looks more like petals. But you just keep cutting it in a round 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 and believe it or not as even as small as this fabric is if you keep cutting it in a round motion it will go a long way and you'll end up with something like this okay now i did these in the denim this one i'm going to show you how to do once you get your fabric together you've got that little cur curl on it how you start you will do it like this it's super easy you'll start to to uh, twist it to make the center of the flower you're going to use your glue gun to tack it down can you see what I'm doing here? A little bit of glue. Be careful not to burn yourself. Jeremy, I'm going to... Um, Wait, no, sorry. I'm, I was, just, I was just watching. <laughs> I was going to have you help me, but that's okay. No, I can help you. I can come over no, here. So I was watching. No, 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 no that's okay. Do you want me to hold it and you glue it? Uh, or no, do you want me to glue no, it? No, we're you... good. We're okay. good now. Okay, so, um, so you get it going. Once you get it going, that you've got the center of your flower. You're going to kind of eyeball this, all right? So as you can tell on those others, you're going to start mm -hmm. kind of pulling it out and doing kind of a lar larger flap like flowers do. They have larger petals. So we're going to kind of bring it out and then stick it like that. Do you see what I'm doing? You're kind of uh, pleating it. I am pleating it in a way, yes. So it's just pretty easy. I could see how you'd burn your fingers, though, because I'm afraid yeah. you're going to burn your fingers right now. <laughs> you have to be real careful, honestly, but it's it's a great way to do that once you've gone all the way around and done that. And this fabric is a little bit lighter weight than what I used yesterday, and I honestly think it may be working a little better. Was this actual fabric, or did you take, like, an old piece of denim? I'll tell you like, what I did. Was it a skirt or jeans? This was a, a, a shirt that I bought at um, Goodwill. Mm -hmm. for $4, and I, I cut the back out of it. Now, ah. let me just show you. See how this is looking? Yeah. See, isn't that real pretty? And then you just keep going. You can make it as big or as small as you want. See, that little that could fit in your pocket. It could look Something right there. Right there. I would totally wear that. Yeah. So once you do that, then you're going to need a back on it, and that's where the felt comes in. You cut a little corner of the felt off. Now, this is sticky felt. It doesn't have to be because I ended up sewing it on. So you put it on the back like this, and mm -hmm. you cut it around, and then you can just use a regular pin. I'm putting it on. I'm going to see if You put that on, yeah. I'm going to see how it looks on me. Let's see how it looks on you. Sorry, Cody. I just no grabbed worries. that out of frame. Sorry. Oh, do you want me to put it on you? Yes. Can okay. you put, I okay. can't see to do it. Yeah, because Sorry. I think. I don't want to yes. bleed on my jacket either. <laughs> Wowza. Here, I think I have to do it this way first. I have, oh, okay. I have gotcha. to do it this yes. way and then get a hold of it this way. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And, and you're right. Making a smaller one for a men's suit mm -hmm. would be perfect mm -hmm. for that. There you go. And you could also make these if you're getting married. Yeah. You don't have to spend the money on flowers. You could just make them well, with honestly, your bridal party. Honestly, that's another tutorial I saw. It wasn't with this kind of fabric, but it was with the silk and stuff. It was very feminine and lacy. Let me show you the second way to do this. Take a look at this one right here. We'll raise that up. You could put this on a purse. Or you could make a belt, a sash. You could wear it on a sash, that sort of thing. And then you decorate it in the center. That's super easy what you do with I just that. had an idea too, Kel. Okay. How cute would that be to put on a little barrette for a little girl's hair? It would be adorable. And, and that'd, be, put, you know? that'd be easy to do. You start out with a piece of fabric like this, cut it about three and a half inches wide, and then you fold it in half and you sew it. Then you do a running stitch, mm -hmm. and it ends up looking like this. Right? Yeah. A running mm -hmm. stitch. And then you cut a piece of your felt, and then you start just gluing it together. This is all glue. So the, really the only sewing is just that stitch. and It's then... the stitch, and the rest of it's just gluing it. So we're going to start with a little bit of glue here on your felt, 
and you'll start here. This one you're laying down a little bit more than the other one. The other one stood up a little bit more. And this one seems like less likely to burn yourself maybe? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. So as we go around, we just kind of work it like that all the way around. It's, it doesn't take long to do it. The other one you got to hold in your hands while you're doing it. It's a little bit probably harder to do. But I, I like both uh, techniques because one looks more like a, uh, a rose versus a larger kind of almost like daisy-esque right, flower, right. you know, that's more loose and open. Right. So let me just show you as this goes. I won't take the time to do the whole thing. But you get the idea, viewers. But you, you get know, the idea, glue. and then and then glue it all together. And then I, I was going to put a button in this one, mm -hmm. just in the center. <clears throat> I've got the frog today, uh, right in the center, and that would look kind of like this. Can we see this? Yeah. There we go. There we go. So um, actually, this kind of a fabric wouldn't look bad on a guy. I think it's it's a hold small... that one up to me too, just to see. I know it's not finished, but I'm just seeing what that you would look like. You know what I'm saying? Too. Right. I like both of those looks actually. Yeah. Because that. Let me because look at that. That has the pink of the shirt yeah. in it. I'll make you one, Jeremy. How about that? Because I would totally wear that like that. Yeah, yeah. I love the floral. I love the floral. It's it's wonderful. Even this might make a beautiful one. I love this pattern. <laughs> yes, of, of I've floral. had that fabric for quite a while. I and love uh, that. so, how about I make you a small one out of that, and then maybe you'll wear it. You know, I will. will you? you know, this kind of reminds me too of like that Laura Ashley look. It is. It's totally it's very that. Laura Ashley. When I was looking for a piece of fabric to cut, I found this, and I thought I will make one out of that. But it's a super easy project. Um, just um, really easy to do. Doesn't take much time, and not a lot of money, and that's a great thing. So that's yes, pretty much my go. pin or my craft of the week. Here, we'll oh, put this on you. Oh, here. Put that on you. There we go. There we go. All Our right. Necklace. All right. We'll be back right after this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get that to stay right there then? There yeah. we go. There you go, Jer. It's a little bit big for your jacket. It's a little, but that's all right.